Another key report from USDA comes out tomorrow, the latest supply demand numbers. Ag Day's Michelle Rook joins us. And Michelle, drought is bound to have an impact on the numbers this month. Yeah, you would think so, Clinton, but that's why the debate is raging because USDA historically has not made yield changes in the July WASD in only a few instances. So that's the wild card here because we do know USDA will be making some adjustments because of quarterly stocks and the acreage figures that we got in the June 30th reports. For new crop corn ending stocks, one survey is estimating 2.17 billion bushels, but another is 2.26 billion, almost unchanged from June. The lower estimate offset the 2 million additional acres by lowering corn yield to 175 bushels per acre. Now, the last time USDA cut yield in July was in 2012, but corn was only rated 40% good to excellent. Either way, the ending stocks look bearish. USDA does not have a tendency or has not had a tendency in recent years to make July yield adjustments. That doesn't mean that they couldn't do it though. I mean, I think personally, some sort of downward revision would be warranted uh, given the drought monitor, uh, given the drought conditions, given the crop ratings. It's, it's really tough to swallow the idea of a trend line yield in corn at this point. Soybean ending stocks estimates are around 200 million bushels with the cut of 4 million acres, a bushel lower yield at 51 and a 4.2 billion bushel production estimate. Some analysts argue USDA may not adjust yield, but either way, the market is looking at a nearly 150 million bushel drop in carryover from last month. You lose a bushel or two off these beans, this balance sheet's going to get to essentially next to nothing without essentially, you know, finding a way to essentially peel off demand. So uh, this bean market, you know, we've kind of calmed down a little bit here, but I think, you know, as we ramp up in the latter part of July into August, any kind of a hint that the weather is not cooperating and some of that heat dryness we saw earlier in the summer, this bean market could explode because there just is zero room for air. And the production estimate on all wheat is slightly higher at 1.68 billion bushels with hard red winter wheat at 529 million and soft red at 407. Now this will be the first estimate on spring wheat, which is at 477 million and above last year by 31 million. New crop ending stocks are pegged at 569 million for wheat, up 7 million from June. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.